What's up guys? Here I'm running the Mega Square Harness. It's a plug and play. This harness is actually fairly simple to install. Everything is labeled. You just have to move what goes to what area first to kind of get an idea how you're going to run it before you start tying things down. But they do provide you everything you need, as you can see here. My harness is actually ran and I use all three bolts of my valve cover as I don't want the harness to move or be close to heat. On this side right here, I ran it inside the car. I'll get to that part later. But I did experience an issue or a problem with, I'm not sure if it's me, but here, as you can see, their mounting point or how their instruction shows, I don't have the bracket that the picture shows. Therefore, I'm not too sure yet how I'm going to go about this, whether I'm going to have to custom make a bracket or not. I'm not blaming them, but they might have to update the instructions. You have to take out the old fuel pump harness. This right here. These wires, you have to take them out and run the one that comes with the kit. I'll show you guys. So, yeah. This step is very important since the computer is the one that's going to be sending the actual signal from the new ECU, ECM, whichever one you guys prefer, but yes. So now I'm gonna go inside and pull this thing out. So I'm gonna show you guys and I'm gonna put the new harness in. Okay guys, as you can see, these are the wires from the stock. It's the stock ground right here. You lift this and right here. As you can see, I pulled the old one out. See the little hole right there? I'm gonna go grab the new one. Sorry, my hand are actually it's cold in New York. Okay guys, here's the part from the kit. Let's see if I can do this with one hand for you guys. Ah. All right guys, I cannot do that with one hand. I'll be back. As you guys can see, the harness is a, real, it's a little bit tight. They could make it any, a little bit longer so it could have some play, but if it's, I'm gonna put the bolts in and that's it for this step. Okay, as I told you guys, I connected the cable back here. I ran my ground, as you can tell, I shaved it. Obviously, hopefully no water gets in here or that'll rust. But yep, the fuel pump is connected. I'm gonna show you guys. I connected the computer, do not mind this. I have to figure where I'm gonna mount this at, but for the time being, I would like my car to crank. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna go to the other side, show you guys the how to mount this bad boy. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm not too sure you're gonna get this, but um, here you have to take this apart. It's the only way you're gonna get it through that hole, through the firewall, and you have to re put put this together then once you put this together as you can tell you have to run oh, let me zoom out you have to run the fuel pump wire which is through here i ran it uh this is your ignition i haven't connected this yet and this is your let me see if i can get that y band so i'm gonna see if i can connect the computer right now just to make sure everything plugs in. I'm not connected to any battery yet, so get back. Get okay, back. guys, it's connected. The vacuum and the computer plug. I'm most likely gonna find a way to put it there once I get everything mounted. Uh, I'm not too sure how, but yep. That's it. This is where you plug for your tuning. I have to work on connecting this to the ignition. 
I'm sure it has to be to this one. As you guys can tell, I had the Easy EFI. So I already figured that out. So I'm just gonna plug that in. Give me one second. Uh. <clears throat> yep. Obviously I have to hide this wire and make it look good, but I don't know if the camera caught that, but I did have my Easy EFI um, V8 computer connected already, so I did do this. Um, that saved a step, but if you guys did not have a computer like the Easy EFI connected, you will have to do this step, which is fairly easy. Find the black and white wire and tap into it. You don't even have to cut it. Um, and yeah. Uh, if I go outside, remember the wide band is here. I have to figure out uh, if you guys have any idea. This is how my dash looks. Um, I don't want to butcher anything as far as my dash. So if you have any idea where do you guys put your old two sensor. Um, I do have the factory radio, so... I know a lot of people just put a little delete system there as you guys heard me say before I don't want to butcher anything so give me some ideas all my gauges work so I'm not taking those out and uh, this is not an up-to-date car so I don't even think anywhere around here even looks practically good I don't know guys let me know worst case scenario I'm thinking somewhere here I guess here. I wouldn't want to butcher anything, but yeah.